Hello everyone. Uh, this review is going to be on Rollout Command Supreme Class Optimus Prime. Now, initially I wasn't even going to think about buying this figure. But the for certain reasons, which I really thought I really couldn't exp express my feelings about this toy unless I got it. But for 50 bucks I wasn't about to do that. But the only way I got it was the only way I could afford to get it without feeling like I was uh, being ripped off is I traded in uh, some games, got $40 out of it, and I found uh, $5 laying in the middle of the street. So I ended up really only paying uh, 5 bucks for this figure. And I got a weird suspicion that it may be worth every cent of that five bucks I spent on it. Who knows, I may be put surprised by it. It has a big box, which you'd expect from a Supreme Class toy. But one thing that is good, it has a pretty cool picture of Optimus on the side. So, yeah. Alright, so, what's a... Uh, Let's get, go open the box and check it out. In Optimus's vehicle mode, he is very reminiscent still of the uh, show model and the, of the uh, Voyager class uh, toy. But at certain angles of it, especially here from the side, it looks extremely deformed. With the with the looks very rounded and with the big puffy went, uh, wheels kind of adds to the effect of a super deformed look to it. And it only has uh, two wheels on each side. Both of them are kind of on each side, kind of towards the back. But it does have these uh, two support wheels on the f towards the front, which are vital for the transformation and that uh, sound you just heard. It has the uh, typical uh, Optimus Prime colors that we've seen on the other versions of him from the show. Except this time, uh, instead of a blue windshield like on the Borgia one, uh, he has his uh, molded, smooth, or shiny gray plastic. And now he has the uh, button on the front in the form of an Autobot symbol. And pressing that does a... Uh, Pressing it does give him the uh, voices from the show. And then pressing Let's these, go. the left button, Roll out. pressing the left button will give the same voice except have a truck noise. And it is solely pressing the, pressing the right button will activate the siren. Now it's kind of weird because I'm not sure how long that sound would go on, but you kind of have to press another button to like make it stop or else it'll get really annoying. And pressing the button, uh, the sound, if you could see it. Oh, it, it'll shut off by itself. But uh, you can see that the, the lights do glow, but this one seems to do more than this one. I'm not sure if that's a defect or if that's just a design flaw in it. And obviously rolling it. Is the uh, truck noises. The bit, this thing's biggest problem is that it's uh, all of its uh, gimmicks in this are based upon making noises, which are really more annoying than cool to begin with. And this is a uh, Supreme Class toy, so it is quite large. It's not as big as a. Uh, even some uh, leader class toys in their vehicle mode, like it's uh, it's not nearly as long as a leader class Megatron, but still, you, this is very big and very chunky, and really only uh, recommended, at least based on this mode, for the younger uh, consumers. Now, this toy's biggest gimmick is the transformation as in the title rollout command. Now this axe itself is uh stuck in 
mainly two places, but one third part is really getting in there. It's uh, loosely stuck right there. It's stuck in these two pegs right here, and the one, but none of that's really keeping it in place. The thing that we really had to do to make it stay in place is actually snap the back of the legs. Two parts. So we're going to discard the axe for now. Now to start the transformation, what you want to do is uh, take this switch, which this locks it in place, and doing that will activate the transformation. Now, I think you need about three feet of it because I can pretty much do it all on this little uh, desk I have. And I'm starting from back. Sorry, I have some change in screws there. But there you go. And you, it will be done once you hear him say roll out and the uh, transformation sound. And it stops on soon. Finish it off. Let's, uh, let's connect the legs. Oh, and you want to take the wheel here. Just set them off to the side. Do the classic move and this uh, other maneuver here is exactly like Voyager Prime where you take out the back wheels and fold them in and then rotate this section down pull it out his feet last thing you want to do is take out the hands There you go. And that is him in his uh, just basic robot mode. Um, is still pretty reminiscent of the show model and the Voyager class figure. Except this one has a lot more bulk to it. Uh, in certain areas, like he has these uh, love handles on the side, which I wish they could have found a way to do without, but. I guess that's where a lot of the electronics are stored, so I guess they couldn't. Uh, he has no posability in the head. He has very limited posability in the arms. That's the extent of it. And his right arm, I'll get to that gimmick in a little, little bit. And he has a little bit of his right arm. And he had, most of his posability is in his legs. Which is a pretty standard uh, articulation no ankles but it's pretty standard and I'm just thankful that doing that doesn't activate some noise or else this would just be overall really annoying okay that's really long I probably should have stopped that but why is he kind of A little tricky to get standing straight up, but as you can tell, in both of these lights, my name is Optimus Prime. Now do the uh, siren, and one really neat thing about this is that he does have a voice box, and his mouth moves uh, in sync with the dialogue that he's saying. So bring it on. My name is Optimus Prime, and his uh, eyes will glow yellow. And that's one thing I like about most about those figures. The head design is actually really nice. I would have personally preferred no mouth plate and just have the uh, regular Optimus mouth. So and he would have a move, mouth moving instead of the mouth plate. But it still looks good. Now, now this figure's other lights and sounds, which you saw me do earlier. Uh, taking his liver in the back, spending it, and the entire arm makes this uh, really weird punchy noise. And after a few times, he, he'll do a laugh afterwards. And now for his other gimmick, uh, you can take the sword, or I'm sorry, uh, axe, 
and right now it's in its uh, compact mode I guess you can either extend it like this by uh, pressing in this gray button and the flame will pop out then the blades will do that but one thing I noticed about this axe is that sometimes it doesn't really uh, extend all the way like sometimes it'll get stuck like that or you can do it by sticking axe all the way until that little button I just pressed was uh, is hidden within the hand move this panel off to the side and this uh, little uh, blue button here you press that and it'll do the same thing now a big downside of this big axe even though it's really cool it's really big and really heavy almost too heavy for this figure because just dropping it down if you have it like position the body uh, positioned uh, off center it this uh, real heavy right side will make it fall over if you don't have a pretty firm grip on it one thing that really just as far as the overall design of this figure that just annoys me is that these lights on the back do not go down all the way so they're constantly pretty much touching the back of his head which really it has no head articulation so it can't really affect it but still it's not very good looking with that being said this is a figure that is really aimed for Lego or for the younger kids it's not really meant for adult collectors Even this the only way this uh, can be appealing to uh, doll collectors is that it is actually a good display piece. I mean, far, far off from distance, you know, you just look at it and say, oh, that's a real big Optimus. And it's, uh, it almost looks like a statue in this pose because oh, it doesn't really look like it will transform at all. Except for some uh, minor bits that are hanging out. But, like I've already said, this is mainly for the kids. But one big warning is that if uh, any parents give this for their little kids that are really uh, hyper and like to play with a lot of things, take out the batteries as soon as possible because uh, they will drive you insane if you hear your kid constantly. just doing that. See, that was really annoying just for that little short period. But just imagine if your kid was doing that. Yeah, so take out the batteries if you're getting this for a little uh, active little kid. But for adult collectors, really not recommended unless you're looking for a good display piece. Um, if you, unless you I prefer waiting, unless he did like I did and uh, sold some stuff just so you could uh, buy this without feeling like it being ripped off. Wait for this to be on clearance because 50 bucks is a little too much for this uh, non-playable figure that doesn't transform all that great. Until next time, thank you for watching.